Paano na pagtagumpayan ng mga kababayan nating katutubong matigsalog ang takot na hinasik ng demonyong oligase sa kanilang buhay? Sa ating episode ngayon, tampok ang ating exclusive interview sa nagsulat ng librong Oligase na ngayon ay isa ng pelikula na umaani ng international recognition. Alamin ang hirap ng hamong hinarap sa pagkatha ng Oligase. Dito lang sa The 700 Club Asia. Warmest greetings to all of you, especially to our OFW who sacrifice being apart from their loved ones to provide a better life for them. God will surely reward your sacrifices. Hindi po biro ang mawalay sa mga mahal natin sa buhay, lalo na sa mga panhong tulad nito na malapit na ang Pasko. Bukod sa masasarap ang pagkaing Pinoy, miss din nila ang masayang family reunion. Tama. And when it comes to Feeling nostalgic, the devil will inflict all sorts of fear in life. There is the fear of being alone, fear of loneliness at marami pang iba. Pero yung tribo ng matigsalog sa Davao, hindi lamang seasonal yung kanilang fear, but it lingers through the years, in the entire tribe. Manalaman natin kung ano ba yung fear na yon. Sa ating guest ngayon, a photojournalist and writer turned pastor, Let's welcome Pio Arce, the writer of the book, Oligase. Ayan na. Hi, sir, Pio. Hello. Welcome, Hello. Pio. Ayan. Hello. Hopiya masalom sa tanan. And <laughs> maayong buntag sa tanan from Mindanao sa Davao oh, City. Amen. Uh, Pio, before we go into the making of the movie Oligase, tell us how you started writing Oligase, the book which took you seven years. Grabe, seven mm-hmm. years. That time, I was just uh, a photojournalist trying to get good pictures mm-hmm. and good stories, no? Yeah. And th- during that time, I heard God say, don't just take their pictures, help them. Mm-hmm. No? So, uh, uh, after 1986, I started going into this tribe with medical teams, and I've seen their uh, situation, yung poverty, in their uh, ignorance. And that time, maraming mga batang namamatay through measles epidemic. So, and I, I, had, I had the prodding this uh, from God na somehow to move to Mindanao and help these people through another mission organization. It took me seven years. Perfection. No? Oh, wow. Sa, sabi ng Panginoon, ikaw talaga ang project ko. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his project of you I through the book it. took seven years. <laughs> yeah. What he right. did inside. It's, it's a message to all of us. No? It's not really yung pinagagawa sa'yo ng Panginoon. It's actually how you become. No? As That's far as so God beautiful. is concerned, He's the Alpha and the Omega. No? He's the beginning and the end. Tapos na yun as far as He's concerned. Ginagabit ka lang na. No? So, sabi, ikaw talaga ang project ko. Mm. Yeah. Pati ako, so, naministeran po ako doon. Oh. You founded itong Simbang Kristiyanong Lumad. Ano po yung naging reaction nung tribe when you, nung tinatag mo yung Simbang Kristiyanong Lumad, uh, madali po ba nilang tinanggap yung katuroan bilang mananampalataya ni Kristo? Or kontrang-kontra ito sa kanilang religious belief? And we were involved in many community development projects, water system. At one stage, we built a bridge to them. No? Yeah. But then I begin to realize, without the existence of the church, itong lahat na ginagawa natin, it, it, it will grow to nothing. Yeah. Right? We're just another humanitarian organization. Yep. And meron naman talaga existing churches in the area. But uh, 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 sadly, most of these churches are actually coming from the lowlands. And uh, Mindanao at that time was reeling from a communist takeover by the rebel yeah. movements. And this is really, uh, we're talking about yung central Mindanao. Mm. And dahil nga sa mga kaguluhan, and many of these uh, past- pastors from the city, wala silang magawa, kundi pag may kaguluhan, aalis sila. Mm. No? They would be good then, and meron pang mga pangayaw. Yung pangayaw is bendita killing. Uh, Uh, you know, pag na-upset yung mga tribe, they would declare a bendita killing. Then, alagi na papagbalingan yung mga lowlanders. So, yung mga marami, practically, the churches, when we get there, is practically dead. We started yung simbahan kristyanong lumad. In fact, I told our sending church sa Manila, we cannot make them like us kasi they yeah. have their own way of doing 
uh, their own way kasi they could be indigenous at the same time Christian yeah. which means they could use their kanilang mga costume they could use their, their dances their own expression of worship in their own way yeah. at the same time we know also there's a spiritual warfare no na hindi may intindihan nung Of course, that time kasi orientation English, you would be surprised bakit sa mga tribal churches, mga English yung kinakanta. No? They would be, sing, they'd be singing songs yung, at that time, yung He Touched Me, no? Or kaya, Jesus is Wonderful. Yung mga hymnals na araw. Then we were amazed. Ang taan na Jesus is number four. Jesus <laughs> is number... Hindi na naiintindihan yeah. actually. Kasi hindi man contextualized, no? They don't talk about wonderful, but they know the words number four. Mm. Na, nababrand ang mga Christian churches as culture killers, murderers. Mm. Actually, churches are here to change our culture. So they don't like that. Na gusto nila na magpaibang, mag, manatili sila sa, ganung, yeah. uh, sa kanilang identity. That's wisdom from God na yeah. naging indigenous yung church niya para they can really own it. So, mm. Pio, ano naman ang reaksyon nila nang itatag mo itong Kalayag Child Care and Youth Community Center? Paano nila natanggap na uh, taliwas ito sa kanilang paniniwala sa oligase? Sabi ng Bible na my people perish for lack Amen. of knowledge. Yeah. No? Amen. Of course, basically it's the the word of god uh, we know that no then also dahil nga sa kakulangan ng edukasyon din they have this belief na yung tawag nila oligase no na it's a demon spirit that actually eats school children now sa aming research ano ba talaga yan is it really real is it really an actual demon no of course it's really totoo talaga eh. sabi nakikita nila yung uh, yung ano ba yung mga result ng uh, ng, ng demon to yung fear pero On the other hand, dun sa amin, they're actually saying a system ba? No? They believe that yung oligase, na napansin nila, pag nag-aral yung bata, nagiging disrespectful na sa magulang. No? Hindi na bumabalik sa pag, pagpa-farming. No? Dun na nag stay sa, sa, sa city. No? And they think they're no better. So, kaya nangyari, yung makanilang kaninununuan, nakita nila, is education is actually a threat to their way of life, to their culture. In a very closely needed society like the indigenous people, ang isang tao is very important. No? Isang lalaki na wala dun sa kanilang, sa kanilang family, sa kanilang clan, sino ang susunod na generation of farmers? In a sense, tama yung mga tribo, sabi ka nun, education is, sabi niya ganun, is a threat to our own way of life. So ngayon, ang ginawa namin sa Kalayag, we make sure we sponsor kids to school, but we make sure that they go back to their own villages. No? To address yung... Kasi we believe that properly trained, given the education, the discipline, of course, the Word of God, they are the most effective to reach yeah. out to their own people. Yeah. Tama yan, uh, Pio. And I'm glad you did that because it will, it will ensure that they will no longer be a threat to the generation before them. Yeah. So, sa pagsusulat mo nitong oligase, ano-ano ang mga hamong hinarap mo? Gusto namin malaman yan pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Huwag kayong uhalis.
Bago tayo mag-break, tinanong ko kung ano-ano ba ang mga hamong hinarap mo sa pagsusulat nitong oligase. You don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> A brief summary. Yeah. <laughs> Siguro so, top two or top three. Top one, <laughs> top kung one. kaya nang ano, i-explain. Actually, I didn't uh, expect na ganun kahirap yun. Ano? Kasi in a sense, you are actually involving yourself as a spiritual warfare. Yeah. But really, ang challenge ko dito sa, ano, sa oligasi, ag, ag, talaga nagkaroon ako ng panic attack. No? I didn't know wow. na. Wow. I was so scared all the time. I think sometime in 2000, starts in 2006, talagang a whole year I was struggling with fear. No? Wow. There were times na I would, uh, yung misis ko lang praise God for my wife, I would be rushed to the hospital. When I get to the hospital, sabi ko, Sir, there's nothing wrong with you. It's panic attack, oh, sabi niya. 2007, I think. 2007, sabi niya, you need a sabbat. No? Sabi sa akin, you need a sabbat. So, Rest. and from God's graciousness, uh, we, uh, uh, we flew out of We went to Hawaii. We went to Hawaii. When I was uh, there in Hawaii, I was being attacked. There was none that I was being attacked by this fear. There was a dream in the way of doing missions. But it was so cluttered. No? Then uh, I began to praise. I began to praise. I began to I'm being attacked by this demon. No? So we began to review. Uh, then I saw this vision. I saw a huge feet. It was like a big pa. No? Then I, I, I remember the word, I think it's in Isaiah 66, mm-hmm. sabi ganon, Heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. No? Who can build me a house? Sabi niya ganon. Sabi ko, I was actually looking at God's feet. Sabi niya. Sabi na pang, the Lord began to speak to me, ikaw yung kaaway mo. Sabi niya, you're actually struggling for honor and glory. Mm-hmm. No? You were trying to impress me. You were trying to build me a house. No? But can you impress me? Can you build me a house? No? All the things that you do, because uh, I think that is really, uh, I was also struggling with ano, yung identity sa akin. No? Kasi I had a very poor self-image growing up. Inferiority complex ko. No? And I'm trying to cover that up with performance. Yeah. No? So, yung aking, uh, I'm a very creative person. No? I write, I draw, I play music. Yeah, kasi yun talaga ang kaya lang. Why am I doing that? Yung gift ko, ginagamit ko to impress others. Sabi ng Panginoon, I understand. No? Because that is something you lose when you sin. No man sin. Mm. It's yung glory and honor mm. niya. No? Mm-hmm. Sa Psalms 8, sabi nga, What is man that you're mindful of him? You have created him a little lower than the angels and crowned him with honor and glory. No? And that is something you lose, yung glory and honor. Now, that is why you're striving for glory and honor. And mm. I know, sabi niya ganon, do you know that at the cross, I already restored that? Amen. Amen. You know, yung, 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 glory, yung, yung glory and honor mo, that was your crown, naging, uh, it became, uh, it was a crown of thorns. No? That time, it was uh, God, it was man giving it to the devil, that through Jesus Christ, di ba? Uh, true men, ibinalik sa kanya yeah. yung, yung crown na yon. Now spiked with Saturday vision. Then I begin to understand. I don't have to struggle for honor and glory. Mm-hmm. No? Trying to impress God. No? Because Jesus Christ already did that. Grabe, that's so powerful, <laughs> Sir Pio. No? When we truly, kasi when we are restored in our identity in Christ, we are free to do what he has called us to do and we don't have we we know that we have nothing to prove and no one to impress Amen. but God de ba so ito na nga po ano na po yung naging feeling nyo nung finally because of that um, encounter with God ano yung feeling nung finally na na publish na yung book na oligasi after this arduous seven year journey I'm sure you were you were glad you were elated when the book got finally published Well, uh, I was very careful now as to get the promise. <laughs> 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 Knowing what I got. Oh, oh, Knowing what I've gone through. Kasi, oh, tama. Alam ko, uh, I really humbled me na, no, wow. I cannot take glory in that kasi ayoko na, I don't want to, to go through that again. <laughs> yeah. No? <laughs> oh, oh, nga. <laughs> Pero tama yun, Pio. Oh. Thank you, Lord, for this. You did it. You did it. Amen. So, paano nagsimula ang pagsasapilikula nitong oligase? Si Sir John, yung 
she you know the she book to Sir John talaga ay nag endorse nung to become oh, oh. a film no Thank so you, yun yun talaga namin ano na we became good friends eh. para para pala kami mga fine arts students ni Sir John ni Sir Eko so madali kami nagkausap usap madali balik kami nagkakaintindihan ewan ko kung nagka-panic attack din si Sir John <laughs> 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 Ang aming boss na Sir John. <laughs> Hello po. Pati, <laughs> iba yung nagkano kami, nag, uh, nagkaintindihan na kaagad kami dyan. And they like the story that we made that uh, film. So we work together. In fact, uh, he offered me, bakit kami lang po kung lang sumulat nung ano yan, mm. film Which script. script. Oh. No? Oh, kasi, it was, it, it, the book itself is like a movie, so it was easier. But then it really helps na kasi that time uh, before the yung acting experience I only just do it for creativity no to impress people but this time I was in the in the sana spiritual warfare talaga ito yeah. I didn't realize that this is a spiritual it's not about me it's about the message no that's, that, right. that's why I think I believe na pinadala kita sa international uh, platform ngayon oh, at nasa no because The message is sakto ngayon ba? This yeah. is the pandemic of yeah. fear. Wow. Amen. So, Pio, now that Oligase is a movie and gaining international recognition, what lesson have you learned in doing this? And what message would you like to impart to the viewing public? Actually, Oligase is an allegory. No? It's an analogy of a demon uh, spirit. No? And, uh, it's really a... A demon that stalks us all. You know? I begin to realize that it's not about the tribal people; it's about us all. You know? If we're not careful, just uh, imagine, uh, remember that a the enemy is like a roaring lion, yeah. seeking whom he may devour. Oligasi is a story about this tribal girl who she thought she thought that yung kanya mga mga ninuno ay mga ignorante, no? They, they don't know better. They created the story Oligasi. What she thought, but she was running away from the mouth of the oligasi. In, ang, ang, ang totoo, she was really running towards its mouth. I begin to realize oligasi is demon. It's about fear. No? Maraming fear, maraming phobias. No? But really, it's really, ay, yan ang ating kalaban ngayon. Sabi ka, and the only solution is perfect love. That Amen. You cast away all That's kinds so of true. fear. Amen. For everyone who will watch Oligas, it's a very universal theme eh, kasi yung fear mm. and how we can be set free from that. So hindi lang um, para sa tribo ng matigsalog ito, kundi para sa lahat ng manonood. Alam niyo po, the movie Oligas kasi has earned a nomination in the 29th annual Whitaker St. Louis International Film Festival and it is also chosen as one of the three officially selected films for feature-length exhibition at the Mindanao Film Festival to be held po this week, December 7 to 13. And the film will be shown on the MFF YouTube channel on, on these dates for free viewing. Kaya po, wag na wag niyong palalagpasin. You know, in this world we live in, fear can engulf us when faced with a difficult situation. We know we have no control of. There is the fear of death when we are terminally ill or when we watch a loved one go through that. There is the fear of lack when we suddenly lose our jobs, our, our businesses. There is this fear of uncertainties, the fear of the unknown, especially that we are still battling this coronavirus. When will it end? But you know what, my friend? God said we should not fear because He is with us. He will help us. He will sustain us. He will strengthen us. The question is, Is God in your life? Kung hindi pa, my friend, now is your moment, now is your time to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life and allow Him to bring that security, that peace inside of you that the world cannot steal. Pray this prayer with me. Let it be the prayer of your heart. Heavenly Father, I come to you right now. Lord, because I... I no longer know what to do, how to plan, because fear is trying to engulf me. But Lord, I just learned that you did not give me the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. So right this moment, Lord, I come to you. 
And I bring to you this fear. I bring to you all these uncertainties, Lord, in my heart. And I kneel before you, humble myself and confess all my sins and ask for your forgiveness, Lord. Cleanse me from all the things I have done wrong. And Heavenly Father, thank you that you sent your one and only Son, Jesus, to die on that cross to take away my sin, my shame, my guilt, my fear. Every single one of them is nailed on that cross. Jesus, thank you for your sacrificial death. And thank you that on the third day you rose again, that today I can have a new life in you. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. And thank you for securing me this life from now till eternity. I pray this prayer from my heart. And I receive you now, Jesus, into my life as my Lord and as my Savior. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Kung sumabay po kayo sa aming panalangin at tinanggap ninyo si Jesus bilang inyong Panginoon at Tagapagligtas, kaya na ninyong harapin anuman ang hamong dadating sa inyong buhay na walang takot. Ang sabi po sa Psalm 23 verse 4, Dumaan man ako sa madilim na libis ng kamatayan, wala akong katatakutan pagkat ikay aking kaagapay, ang tungkod mo at pamalo, aking gabay at sanggalang. Kagaya ng tribong matigsalog, nang makakilala sa Panginoon ay nakawala sila sa gapos ng oligase. Ngayon ay ipinamumuhay na ang katotohanan ng hatid ni Kristo Jesus. Salamat po uh, sa buhay niyo, Sir Pio Arce, na sumunod kayo sa lahat ng pinag-uutos ng Panginoon at hayaan niyo naman pong ipagdasal naman po namin ko because you've refreshed us so much tonight. Allow me to pray for you po, Sir Pio. Lord, thank you so much for the life of Pio Arce. Thank you, Lord, for the creative talents that you have given him, Lord. Um, thank you, God, that these ideas that you have birthed In, her, in his heart, God, are from you and ideas, Lord, that you will be uh, the one to fulfill them. Lord, I pray, God, that you will continue to strengthen him as he obeys the call that you have placed in his life. And Lord, thank you, God, that as he fulfills your call, Lord, you are, you are also doing a mighty work, a continuous work in his heart so that he can um, continue to live for your glory and your glory alone. Lord, we speak a... Uh, uh, prayer of uh, protection upon him, God. Thank you, Lord, that you command your angels concerning him to guard him and to protect him. Thank you, Lord, that no weapon forged against him shall prosper, Lord. And every tongue that rises against him, God, we condemn that in the name of Jesus Christ. Protect his home, protect his family, and more importantly, God, protect his peace, protect his joy, God, so that he can continue um, to glorify you uh, and um, be a blessing to other people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you Amen. so much, Sir Pio. Thank you very much. God Dikan bless you. Yes. Kung sumabay ka sa panalangin para tanggapin si Jesus bilang Panginoon at Tagapagligtas at kung nais mong maipanalangin ka namin, please text YES, space, your name, space, location at ipadala yan sa 0919-0607-567. Kung may nais kayong maipagdasal namin para sa inyo, tawagin nyo lang kami sa aming hotline number 8737-0700 at ang ating mga trained prayer counselors ay nakastandby po 24 hours a day, 7 days a week upang sagutin ang inyong mga tawag. Ang aming Viber numbers ay 0949-888-8001 at 0943-144-4933. And to all our viewers via GMA Pinoy TV and TBN, You can contact us through Skype. Our Skype ID is the 700 Club Asia. You can also post your prayer requests and comments on our Facebook wall. You can chat with us live. Log on to our website, cbnasia.org slash media center. On your social media account, use the hashtag TSCA Demon of Fear. Buhay pa, tuloy-tuloy ang kita kahit papano, kumita kahit limandaan, okay na, laking bagay na yun. Ngayon wala talaga, gutom talaga. Aking 
bagay na katulong yan. Hindi na kami magugutom. Marami, marami po salamat sa Operation Blessing at sa Panginoon sa Diyos. Alam niyo po, ang Pinoy hindi tamad. In fact, ang Pinoy maabilidad. But kung walang opportunity, paano na? These are our kababayans who are willing to drive. But if they're not allowed to go out, di sila makapasada, how can they earn? But because you care to give, your love has reached them. Alam niya, there are people, there are kababayans all around the nation that love them, that care for them. So, nakatanggap sila ng food bags, pero more important, they receive the Word of God that will continue to sustain them and carry them until they're able to make pasada. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your kindness. May the Lord God bless you. Tis the season to renew your spirit and your family's merry heart with these exclusive gifts. Receive access to Thank God for Christmas, an audio teaching of Peter Kairos. Have you ever paused and thought for a moment and say, Thank you, God. Thank God for Christ. Thank God for Christmas. Plus the song, Buti na lang may Pasko 2020 edition, remixed especially for CBN Asia. With your donation of 500 pesos to CBN Asia Family of Ministries, call, text, or visit our website to send your donation today. Many of us are consumed by the fear of death or afraid of suffering as they die. Even King David, a man after God's own heart, was afraid of dying. As he wrote in Psalm 55 verse 44, My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death assail me. Fear and trembling have beset me. Horror has overwhelmed me. We can overcome the fear of death if we turn to Jesus, who will help us reconcile with God and be assured of an eternal life with Him. Ang sabi nga na sa John 14:6, Ako ang daan, ang katotohanan, at ang buhay. Walang makakapunta sa Ama kundi sa pamamagitan ko. When Jesus is in us, when we have a personal relationship with Him, we will never fear death because we know that death is only the doorway into eternal life. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 and 15, Since the children have flesh and blood, He too shared in their humanity, so that by His death, He might destroy Him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. Thank you all for watching. We hope that you have been given renewed hope by all the stories we featured on the show. God bless you more and more! Ngayong Martes, Nurse na nahawaan ng COVID-19, nakatanggap raw ng special message mula sa Diyos. Estudyanteng titigil na sa pag-aaral dahil sa kahirapan, nakatanggap ng special gift. Wow! Alamin kung bakit espesyal ang wedding na ito ni na Jofer at Irene. Tutukan ang kanilang kwento sa You Are Special. Tampok sa The 700 Club Asia.